Hi everybody, Sandy Day with Beyond School Bells here again uh, to talk a little bit about some of the content that's available for you to use with your after school clubs. Um, just a reminder that everything that you have access to is free. That's 23, le 23 units right now with 197 lessons, I want to say. All of that is free to you to use. The only thing that we ask is at the end, if you could help us improve the content by completing a four question survey, or five question survey, excuse me. The first four questions, of course, are the Likert scale ones. Was this easy to understand? Were the kids engaged? Did they have fun? Stuff like that. And then the last question is that open-ended question that helps us know how to improve the content going forward. We really appreciate your input. I mean, we write these things from a perspective that we think will work, but if boots on the ground are seeing that it's not working, uh, we would love to fix it uh, in any way, shape, or form that we need to. Okay. Okay. Well, with that said, let's get into a unit that we're calling food waste. You guys are really going to enjoy this unit. It was um, the content, uh, majority of this specialty content for this unit was brought to us um, by a Keep Nebraska Beautiful a program manager, and I'll get into more of that in a minute. But I wanted to point out the view you're looking at right now is simply in my drive. Um, I, it's not up on BSB's website yet. It will be. However, if you need the content like for a club that's happening in two weeks, just, just contact me or Jennifer or Anna B and I will get it to you however you want me to. I can either share this drive with you. Some people find that annoying. I could uh, send it on a thumb drive. I could save everything to PDF and send it to you that way. You, you just tell me what you need and, and I'll, I'll get it there. Anyway, so food waste, here we go. In the food waste folder, there's all kinds of um, the actual uh, units themselves are, or the, excuse me, the in, inside this folder for the unit are all of the lessons, of course. There's also some other um, PDFs that are helpful as resources for the particular lesson that has to do with soil and quality soil. I also went ahead and these are all in PDF form right now, this particular unit. So we'll just go from there because it's easier. Okay, so here's your overview. You know, we always like to do an overview to make it easier for you to kind of get the 60,000 foot level picture. One of the notes I put to the site director or teacher is, is Pete Stadig's uh, contact information. He is a um, statewide partner with Keep Nebraska Beautiful. So all of your locales like Keep Lexington Beautiful is a, a component of Keep Nebraska Beautiful. And he commented to me that he is really excited to partner with any, any after school program anywhere across the state that wants to use this content. He's got lots of resources to help you and he's really excited. To, to partner with you. So please, there's his contact information. If you choose to, to sign up for this particular unit, please, I wouldn't, I wouldn't hesitate a second uh, to give him a call. Okay, kind of looking at the overview. Um, again, these were written in mind uh, where we have real students in real time and, and not virtual, but I think these could certainly be uh, converted to virtual if necessary. But essentially, you're going to find four topics here. And each one of these topics has uh, three lessons, or sorry, four lessons to it. Hi, Sandy, do your math. Try that over. There are three topics with four lessons. Got it. And then this fourth thing here are our um, suggestions for partners other than Keep Nebraska Beautiful. So let's take a look at, at uh, how the lessons were written, basically thinking they would be used as that an hour of enrichment uh, in an after school program. You know, after we have dismissal, we go to the playground and we get our giggles and our wiggles out. Then we come in, wash hands, have a snack or a full meal, whatever it looks like at your site. Um, and then off to academic support. Uh, component of your program and then the hour of enrichment and I felt that this would fit 
perfectly in that hour of enrichment. Okay, so um, again, there are the three topics with the, the, four, the four lessons, each one. Let's get into one of these, shall we? Oops, wrong way. And again, we always like to put our uh, state and lo uh, local standards, national standards on, on each lesson so you know that you're doing something that's aligned to state standards. And um, it, when your evaluation time comes around, your evaluator will be happy about that. Okay, so topic one, <clears throat> lesson A, a food as energy. And there are, um, again, my formula is this, ask a question, uh, access prior knowledge, and then maybe set up a short video to bring the point home. Um, and that's exactly what you see here. And talking about food as energy and that everything that we eat gives us energy. And that energy is measured in a unit called calories. This first video is really cute. It's four components of food. It's an ice cream cone, animated of course, um, blueberry, granola, uh, a healthy cereal, and a slice of pizza, and they're running a race. And can you guess who's gonna go the farthest? We'll find out at the end of this video. Okay, uh, which is a real cute animated video, gives you the idea. Okay, so um, every, single, I, every single type of lesson that I looked up that could somehow measure calories or energy in food involved fire. <laughs> <laughs> I said, we are not starting anybody's building on fire. So went the other way around it. And I seized on the fact that um, of those four food components I was talking about, yeah, you guessed it. The healthy cereal is going to take you the furthest. And going to have the students make a healthy trail mix. Here's a video about how, and this is a really cute video. Kids are outside, they're doing uh, healthy activities outside, and then they make their own trail mix. And so your contents for trail mix would, your materials are over here on the right. Um, you need the computer and internet for the two videos, of course. And then um, these are the pieces that are uh, in, your, in your trail mix. Here's your standards, and then off we go. Th this lesson is a good one too. I won't go all the way through it, but basically, it's, it is, it's kind of like recycling almost, because once you start paying attention to, in that case, what you're throwing away, you start to realize how you can cut that down and why the reasons it's important. Same with food waste. If you actually keep a journal of how much food you go through and how much food you waste, you will find over time that eventually you're, you're wasting less food. And that's the, the powerful piece of this particular lesson. Cool, and um, components that go along with the food waste journal follow that. Okay, all right, very good. Well, I'm not gonna make you go through each one of these. So at any rate, that is the food waste unit. Um, again, I don't know if you have my email address. Let me give it to you one more time. It is sday, D-A-Y, at nebraskachildren.org. If you have an email from me, you note in the bottom of my signature, there's my cell phone as well as my Zoom name. So feel free to reach out that way. And please, please, please do not hesitate. If there is anything you need, um, maybe it, it, it isn't even related to this particular content, but something you're thinking about and you wanna troubleshoot it with someone else. Remember, I do have a few years experience in after school programming and I've, I've, seen, a, I've seen a few things happen. Well, good and bad. Anyway, um, it'd be great to chat with you and to just get caught up. I hope everybody's doing well. And remember, stay positive, test negative. Bye, everybody.